Just two and a half years ago, Project Grenadier was conceived in a pub in Knightsbridge. The idea? To build an uncompromising, hard-working 4x4 to fill a gap in the market. We are a chemical company, but at heart we're a manufacturing company. If we can produce a vehicle which looks cool, retains that off-road ability, not homogenised jelly mould SUV, I think we can deliver that. With an initial core team of visionary designers and engineers, the project has gone from strength to strength. It's a global product that will be recognised hopefully soon all over the world. I certainly feel very proud to be a part of that journey. We have have a strong, experienced senior team leads and chief engineers that, that manage the, the overall progress. When do you have a chance to be a part of something like this? I mean, hardly ever. In September, at Glaciers Hall in London, Enios Automotive held a press event to unveil the name of the vehicle. After putting the question to the public on their website, there was one overwhelming response. We had some rogue ones. We had the old Kari McCarr face and um, lots of unprincipled ones. But by far the winner is the name of the pub. The name of the vehicle will be the Grenadier. Now that other car brands have moved into more premium SUVs and 4x4s, Grenadier will take on the much-needed role of a tough, uncompromising vehicle. A car for landowners, farm workers, explorers and many more. A permanent all-wheel drive vehicle to work in the mud, to work in the rain, under trailer conditions, being able to pull, being able to tow, being able to be versatile. We will also have some regular comfort features which in the 21st century you would expect but it again will be there because we feel it is something that is needed to do the job at the end of the day. After assembling a world-class engineering team and procuring the right parts, Ineos Automotive needed the right place to call home and, along with the name, announced where that place would be. Good evening, Naswaithaichi. A much needed boost for the car industry in Wales tonight as Ineos Automotive confirms it'll build its new 4x4 vehicle in Bridgend. Today, Sir Jim Ratcliffe announced that he's bringing up to 500 jobs to South Wales. It could prove a lifeline for some of the 1,700 workers facing redundancy at Ford Bridgend. It's always been our ambition as a UK manufacturing company to assemble the vehicle in the UK. £600 million will be invested by INEOS into the Grenadier project, which includes the construction of this new site in Bridgend, with work already underway. We are selecting Wales for various very good reasons. An element of it is also that it is a rural area which fits the product, where the farming tradition is still very live. I think it's great. We'll build something here that hopefully everybody is very proud of.